I first learned about Zebra through my mom. I was going through it two and a half years ago and I needed a therapist and I was going through a lot of gender related struggles and like we couldn't find like an actual psychiatrist, psychotherapist that specialized in LGBT uh, Q youth. My mom and I did a little bit of research and we found Zebra and uh, we made an appointment for the Osceola Center and I guess that's where it all began. <laughs> I first heard about Zebra Coalition, well, my mom actually found out about it and then she pitched the idea to me because I was seeing uh, another therapist. He wasn't used to the terms and wasn't used to being with with patients who are who are LGBT. So having that here made me want to stay. I had a lot of ups and downs uh, throughout my entire life. I was just very like erratic, like my behavior and my moods. Um, but after I started coming here, not only was I getting treatment for like my issues, but also it was just kind of a comfort. I kind of realized that like, I'm not alone in this. There are people that can help me. Before, like I didn't really, I didn't really have this place where I could like understand myself. And as I came here, I, I figured myself out a lot more and I, and just my quality of life just drastically improved because of how how happy I started to feel after finally being able to understand that that I'm a transgender man and I am who I am and I don't have to be ashamed of it I don't have to live by any cis normative any cis, cis normative shit you know <laughs> I don't have to live with that and I I'm happy to be myself the greatest lesson I've learned here at Zebra is probably um not to be afraid of feeling upset and feeling sad. I think that being emotional is something that I was grew like I was raised and conditioned to think was wrong and think was um, incorrect. And realizing that my emotions are not something to be afraid of, and that they're something that I should harness and be proud of, I think that that's something that really affected me. And I think that lesson that I learned is very, very important. One of the greatest lessons that I've probably learned is that I don't need to conform to society's standards. I get to be who I want to be, and I get to be happy doing whatever the hell I want. <laughs> I don't have to be a certain way. I'm just, just vibing. <laughs> the thing that I'm most proud of overcoming would probably honestly be just like fear in general. I think as people, fear controls a lot of what we do in our personal lives and in our um, interpersonal relationships. And for the longest time, I was just really afraid of opening up to people. I still am, like that's still a huge fear of mine is opening up and, and being vulnerable. And I think that this program, this place has taught me that fear is incredibly natural. Fear is something that we're always gonna have in our hearts no matter you can be the bravest person you could be the most open blunt person and you're still gonna feel fear for some reason or another and i think that being able to control it and and be aware of it and be more i guess like yeah just aware of the way that your emotions are and where your fear is at i feel like that's the most one of the more important things I've struggled through a lot of challenges and I'm still overcoming some, but one I'm most proud of overcoming is like just completely stopping self-harm because I've always wanted to escape this body and I felt like that was a way of me releasing, releasing that tension built up. But after being able to actually, you know, feel comfortable within myself, I don't have to keep scratching at myself to to somehow get out. I'm comfortable now and I'm happy with that. Personally, I've gone through plenty of terrible, horrible things as I'm sure many of us have as LGBTQ youth. Some days recovery is being happy and, and being able to go outside and, and talk with your friends and be open with your family and just enjoy your day. And then some days recovery is feeling like every single thing that you do is impossible. Some days it feels like a terrible inky black ocean and you're drowning and there's no way that you're gonna be able to get out, but that's what it is. Recovery is not linear. And I think that that's the most important thing that I can give, like the most important piece of advice that I can give personally to people my age. I definitely recommend coming here. Like 
if you're looking for a place that that will welcome you with open arms and just beautiful positive people all around definitely i recommend coming here to zebra coalition i was welcomed with open arms and just smiling people and just just this overall warmth just this I, f I feel happy to be here, and I'm so glad that I am. Um, to the people who have donated to Zebra, um, thank you, first of all. Programs like this are not easy to come by. Helping LGBTQ youth was never something that was like popular to do it, ever it, throughout history. So not only are you doing something fantastic and you're helping so many people overcome so many struggles, but from my personal experience, I thank you. I genuinely, genuinely would not be here if it wasn't because of Zebra, if it wasn't because of the people behind the scenes helping out, if it wasn't because of my therapist, if it wasn't because of everyone involved in the process. So thank you. Um, please keep donating. Thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> I just want to give like a huge thank you to Zebra because I, I don't know where I would be today if I wasn't, if I, if I wasn't here.